Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is International Sandwich Sunday and today we're headed to India to do the Kachi de Belly Pav. Now I'm going to be following a recipe I found on vegrecipesofindia.com if you want to play along. Um, but yeah, it sounds interesting. It sounds like it's a cousin uh, and the person at that website actually points out that it says the cousin to the Vata Pav, which we've made before. But it sounds really interesting, complex, and tasty, so I'm into it. First thing we got to do, make a garlic chili chutney. Okay, to make our red chili garlic chutney, the first thing we have to do is soak two dried chilies, red chilies, that have been uh, stemmed and deseeded in hot water for 20 to 30 minutes. What kind of chilies? Uh, not sure. Bought them from an online Indian grocery store and just said chilies. Okay, while well, those uh, chilies are soaking, let's make our Dabelli seasoning blend. This is a uh, dried red chili, two cloves, cinnamon, coriander seeds, and cumin seeds. We're gonna get those toasted up, grind them in a spice grinder. Now we put our softened chilies into a mini prep pro, add some garlic, roughly chopped, lemon juice, and salt, and waz it up. Well, the recipe says to get it to a fine paste and the mini prep pro did not quite get there, so we're gonna finish it off old school style, mocajete. Let's make our filling. We gotta start things off by boiling some potatoes. Oh, and don't throw out the potato peels. Toss them in some olive oil, salt, and pepper and put them in a 400 degree oven for about, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes. Get a little snick -a snack you've earned it. Now we give them a mash. Then we set them aside. Okay, now to a couple tablespoons of oil, we add some cumin seeds and get them cooking until they start to pop. She said crackle, not pop, my bad. All right, now we add an onions and cook until soft. Now we add a pinch of asafoetida. Uh, I won't get into all of what that is. You go Google it, it's pretty interesting. Let that cook for a second. It's one of the many things that makes Indian food, Indian food. Now we add in sweet tamarind chutney and our mashed potatoes. Now we get it all mixed together. Now we mix in our Dabeli Masala seasoning blend and a little bit of salt. Now we're to put that onto a plate and kind of flatten it out a little. Now we top it with grated coconut, unsweetened, chopped cilantro, and last but not least, pomegranate seeds. So we're using these buns, these are called pav. You can get those at Indian grocery stores. And what we do is we put sweet tamarind chutney on one side and our garlic red chili chutney on the other. Now we take some of our potato mixture and put it onto the bun. We add a little bit of a chopped onion, more cilantro, roasted peanuts, pomegranate seeds, and finally top it with some sev, which is a chickpea sort of cracker that's got salt and cumin, different little seasonings in it. Okay, let's give this kachi de belly pav a go. Oh man, oh man, woo! So many things going on here. Probably could have gotten a little thicker on the potato filling, but, so the flavor is off the charts. First you got that garlic chili chutney, spicy, highly potent garlicky, very, very punchy raw garlic. But then you've got the potatoes, the tamarind chutney that's sweet and savory, the cilantro, little pop of sweetness and freshness from the pomegranate seeds, and cilantro, which of course, if you don't like cilantro, you're not gonna like this, but still, this is amazing. This is delicious. It is a, a lot of work, but wow, so much flavor. Yeah, no plus up here. This is a 10. I am literally sweating from the heat <laughs> of eating that. That is oh, so good. So many different flavors and textures and oh, it's, just amazing. Uh, shout out to Dasana at vegrecipesofindia.com for sharing it. I'll put a link in uh, the description for Facebook, YouTube, and Reddit, and I'll put a link in my bio for Instagram and TikTok. Uh, this is a 10. There's no plussing this up at all. I'm going to definitely finish that. I've got plenty of leftovers, which is great. I might have another one. Uh, then I'll probably have a little bit of a nap because it is a carb bomb, but oh, so good. All right. See you tomorrow. Oh.